here is an example of a related rate problem that is the most common relate, related, related rate problem that you'll see, which is usually referred to as just the ladder problem. And why the ladder problem is so common is it's the best example of how one thing can be happening, but it changes the rate of two different values, and they are related. When you start a ladder problem, when you start any word problem, the best thing to do is start with a picture. And it doesn't have to be a work of art. You do not have to be a good artist to do these problems. When I draw a ladder problem, I draw a right triangle, keeping in mind that the hypotenuse is representing your ladder. And then you have the wall and the ground. What's happening is the ladder doesn't change. It always is 20 foot of 20 foot ladder. What's changing is the distance from the ground to the top of the ladder and then from the ground out to the base of the ladder. So we have these two values. What is happening is your ladder is sliding down, so that's one thing that's changing. And as it's sliding down, it's also sliding out. And these two are related, which is why the section's called related rates. So you need to give some variables to things. With my um, values, I'm going to call them x and y. I'm going to call this one x, this one y, and this one x, just because what you're used to when we think of axes. When you look at the given information, we know that the ladder is 20 feet long. That does not change, so we don't need a variable there. It's not a situation where we have an x, a y, and a z. The ladder doesn't change. If something doesn't change, it doesn't need a variable. What I know is that the ladder is sliding down a wall at a rate of 5 feet per second. So that is telling me how y is changing. So I am going to call that dy dt. It's how the y is changing with respect to time. And it is actually negative 5. It's actually negative for a couple reasons. It's sliding down is one way to think of it. But also that distance is getting smaller. The distance between the top of the ladder and the wall is decreasing. So we have that negative value for its derivative. And then we are looking for the speed that the bottom is sliding out. So that means I want to know how this distance is changing. So I'm going to call that dx dt. And that's, where, that's my question mark. That's what I don't know. In related rate problems, after they tell you what you're looking for, they're also going to tell you a particular instant that they're looking for it. Because everything's going to change depending on the different measurements that are going on. So for this one, it wants to know specifically when the top of the ladder is 10 feet from the floor. So it is looking for the instant when the y value is 10. Now that we have our picture and we have everything labeled as far as what we know and what we need to find, we need to write an equation that relates x and y. Anytime you have a problem that has a right triangle, you first want to think about the Pythagorean theorem. Most problems are Pythagorean problems. So my Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared, but in terms of the variables that I called it, it's x squared plus y squared equals 20 squared. Again, I put the 20 in because that's not changing. That doesn't need a variable. When you derive this, everything's going to be derived with respect to time. So when you take the derivative of x squared, you're going to get a 2x, and then you're going to put dx dt, because it's with respect to time. Same thing for the y, 2y dy dt. And then on the other side, it's a constant. So that no matter what the constant is, the derivative will be 0. One thing just to make the process a little faster with entering your calculator, everything is divisible by 2, so you can go ahead and cancel the 2's right away. You could divide all three terms by 2. Now we want to plug in what we know. We know that dy dt is negative 5, so I can put a negative 5 here. And we also know that y is 10 is the instant I'm looking for, so I can put a 10 there. dx dt is what I'm looking for, so I won't be able to replace that. That's what I'm solving for. The last thing that I need to plug in is x. You have enough information to find x because you want to think about the instant that you're working with. If you kind of think of a triangle, I'll draw a little picture down here, this is 20 and this is 10. At that instant, we can figure out what x is by using the Pythagorean theorem again. It would be the square root of 20 squared minus 10 squared, which you can do on your calculator. You can do it in your head. It's 400 minus 100. You get the square root of 300. If you want to work with it as a decimal, that's fine. The only danger in working with a decimal is then you have to be careful that you don't round. You save that value. So I think it's a lot easier just to keep it as square root of 300. You don't need to simplify the radical in any way. So I'm going to put that here. Now I want to solve for dx dt. So this is going to be a negative 50. So I'm going to add 50 to both sides. So I'm going to get the square root of 300 dx dt equals 50. Divide by the square root of 300. 
here's when you actually will go to your calculator because you're ready to finish the problem. So you're going to figure out what 50 divided by the square root of 300 is. And at this point, since this is the end of the problem, I do want to use three digits. So you can either truncate 2.886 or you can round 2.887. And that is your final answer to this problem. So we would write that, I'll write it at the top, dx dt is 2.88, you can either say 7 or 6 if you round or truncate, and that is in feet per second. You'll notice that it's positive. The biggest reason it's positive here is that distance is increasing. The base of the, of the ladder is going away from the wall, so that, that rate, that measurement is increasing. It's getting larger, which is why you have a positive. You can also think, by the way we drew it, that it's to the right, but we won't really care right or left here, especially when they're talking about speed and not velocity. So it is positive because it's an increasing value. And that is how you do a related rate problem with the ladder, and many other problems that don't use ladders have very similar techniques.